So the day has finally come, all of the studying and preparation, you know, all of the videos I've been doing on this channel, I was able to sign an offer with Google. I, I mean, I can't even believe saying that out loud. It's, it's really hard to believe still. If you told me, you know, several years ago that I would now be, you know, about to start at a place like Google, I wouldn't have believed you. I don't, you know, I don't like using the term dream company, but, you know, starting in college, Google became really the goal in mind for me. I, I had a, you know, heard so many amazing stories about working there. And to be honest, I just kind of hopped on the bandwagon. I actually applied to Google back in college for an internship. You know, I figured getting into Google as an intern would be a lot easier than if you had, you know, several years of experience. So I had my interviews scheduled, but unfortunately I wasn't even given the chance to interview because they ended up having max headcount at the time. So there was just no more, uh, you know, intern roles available when I applied. And, you know, it was super disappointing because, you know, at the time I was doing a ton of study preparation. You know, I, I even joined a class at my school called the Google Applied CS Skills, where actual Google engineers came out to teach the class. And we ended up building like a bunch of different Android applications. So I was doing this class and then I was also, you know, studying leak code and, you know, brushing up, my, up on my data structures and algorithms. Um, you know, I felt like I was putting in a lot of effort. So when I did have my interview scheduled for this internship role, you know, I felt very prepared, but then the opportunity just fell through. But then a little over two years ago, I wanted to try to interview at Google again. And at this point I had about two years experience. And so I got in touch with the recruiter, but the one problem was I didn't want to move up to Northern California. And the recruiter said that there were no openings for Southern California locations because I, I'm, I'm in Southern California currently. And fast forward to about a year ago, I was contacted by a Google recruiter asking if I wanted the chance to interview again. But the problem was I had just started a new job at the time. So I didn't wanna leave my new job so soon because you know I enjoyed where I was at and you know I, I didn't wanna, you know, be known as like a job hopper. I wanted to, you know, stay at my current company and and get the experience. So it just felt like the timing was never right with Google and I. I mean, at this point I had been in contact with them three different times and every time it fell through and I had never even gone through the interview process. Um, and obviously the interview process is a whole nother ball game. You know, it's known for being really difficult. But then my luck changed when in December of 2021, so only a couple months ago, I was contacted again by the same Google recruiter and was told that there were actually remote teams available this time. And when I heard this, I immediately started studying as much as possible after work, on weekends, and I knew the interviews were hard from what I had heard online, but you know I hadn't experienced it myself. It's just you know, hearing horror stories. So my way to cope with the stress was really just to over-prepare. So what was the interview process like? It was actually a really long process, a lot longer than I had expected. Fortunately, I was allowed to skip the phone screen interview and go straight to the onsite. So I ended up scheduling my onsite for a little over a month away because at this time, it was during December, and the holidays were coming up. So I figured I could use some of my vacation days at my current job to just prepare for the upcoming interviews. And this ended up being a very good decision because I feel like without that extra study preparation that I did during the holidays, I'm really not sure if I would have gotten it, to be honest. And once I finished the onsite, it took about one week to hear of results. I was told that I had passed hiring committee and that's like the, the hardest part is passing hiring committee. And that then I would move on to the team matching phase. The team matching phase was a lot less stressful. And honestly, it was pretty fun because you just got to meet with different hiring managers and hear about what the team does. And I ended up team matching with three different teams that allowed, you know, fully remote. And I chose one of them. The team matching process took about two and a half more weeks 
But from what I've heard online, the duration of team matching can be a lot longer depending on you know what time of year it is and if there's headcount for specific teams. So from initial talks with the recruiter to actually signing the offer, the process took about two and a half months total. And this could have been a lot shorter if I had, you know, because I waited over a month to even do the onsite. But if I didn't do that, the process likely would have been a month shorter. Overall, I would say the process was pretty quick considering how many different stages there are, you know, doing the on site, having recruiter calls, uh, you know, and then passing hiring committee getting team matches, going through offer details. You know, a lot of this, there's a lot of back and forth. Honestly, it's still really hard to believe that I actually made it to this point after so many years of wondering if I would ever get in, um, you know, cause this was the goal. And it definitely feels good to, you know, make it here after putting in so much preparation. And honestly, I feel like a big reason I got this opportunity was because of this channel. This channel really kept me motivated to improve my data structure and algorithm knowledge. And you know, at one point I was posting content every week. I know it's, you know, not as frequent like that anymore, but really this channel is what kept me very persistent in my studying habits. So I definitely have all of you to thank for that. You can really see from at least my story that getting to your you know dream company, it really doesn't happen overnight. I know there are people that you know jump straight out of college and get their dream company, but I feel like for most people that's not the case, and it definitely wasn't the case for me. You know the timing had to line up, and also you have to be very prepared. If you have a goal in mind, just try to be consistent with it. And in terms of interview prep try to do problems, you know, multiple times a week. Don't try to, you know, burn yourself out. Anyways, I kind of feel like I'm rambling. I'll leave you guys with this. Check out my Discord channel. It's completely free. Uh, there's a lot of members now. So if, you, if you're trying to, you know, prepare for your interviews, you can get some study partners if you join the group. Uh, and yeah, like and subscribe really helps out the channel. And I'll see you all next time.